you. Let the door close. Why? You're like my dad. Okay. Let the door close. I don't understand how you can lock me in a jail. Let the door close. Please. In a rusty, bloody old jail. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Cause you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Tennessee where a fraudster wants to file a complaint on a Walmart employee. However, he only finds himself booted out of the building because of his attitude problem. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, Nashville Audits. We were at Walmart today to try to find the manager to complain. You pay me? Yes, sir. Why you pay me, man? Because I'm here to complain. I got a sausage yesterday. A fucking guy threw me out of here physically for filming. I'm go here to complain about it. Well, go ahead and complain. <laughs> I want to talk customer service, but y'all got a line ahead of me, so... Why you feel many says? Hey man, can you call me a manager, the store manager? Uh, I actually don't work here, man. I work outside. Oh. Yeah. On this property? Yeah. Well, that's the guy I want to complain about. It's the asshole that was working here yesterday, not you. You didn't no, do. I had the day off. Right. It wasn't you. It's a, it's a black man. I don't know his name. All right. Where do I find the manager? Is was it outside? Was it? No, it was standing right here. I was leaning up against customer service, and he pushed me physically out the doors. What time was this? Uh, four or five o'clock this afternoon. As somebody who worked for Walmart for a decade, I can tell you the best bet to get some satisfaction is to call Bentonville's home office to complain at 1-800-WALMART. Seriously, that's the number. Even then, your complaint might not be serviced. For example, if you call in a complaint about... Uh, the Tire Lube Express not wanting to rotate and balance your tires after 7 p.m., which is when they close, they'll practically ignore that and laugh behind your back. I don't know. Maybe you were asked to leave? I mean, I well, I was, sta I was sitting over there on the little thing on, where there's no... on the empty shelf, right? And I was waiting on my daughter, and I was filming. And a little girl standing here watching people coming through the self-checkout, yeah. she said she didn't want to be filmed. So I stood up and told her, look, Walmart's a public place. You work in here. I've got every right actually, to film you. Actually, it's private property. Actually, they get hundreds of millions of dollars to for, yes, they do. Nah, it's posted outside private property, man. It, it's, it ain't going to change for you, though. No, it no, what you, you, you... It ain't going to change for you, though. Yes, it will. No, it won't. No, yes, won't. Have you ever heard... <laughs> it's posted, man. You're a stupid motherfucker if you oh, believe that way. Get your way. Leave, sir. Leave, sir. Leave, sir. I have free speech, sir. You are not here to shot. Leave, sir. I'm here to find the manager. You gonna find me a manager? No, I told no you that from the beginning. Find one, all right? Okay, you asshole. Find... Okay, asshole. You don't like being talked to like that? Go find a safe space, buddy. I got a safe place. Go, but government pays for this to be a safe place, you stupid ass. Walmart is not funded by the government. 
In fact, on my orientation day, they emphasized that Walmart is a privately owned company open to the public, that customers are supposed to behave or they can and will be kicked out. And in some cases, banned for life. I'm not going to shop here. I'm going to complain here. Would you call me a manager, please? Oh, okay. Thank you. Huh? This little punk right here is going to factor into the whole equation later on, so let's skip on ahead. A few minutes later. Because I was assaulted yesterday, and it's legal to film in Walmart. Again, given my experience, I have seen managers tell customers and associates not to film in the store. Walmart policy, given that it's a privately owned business open to the public and I came in here yesterday and was assaulted by one of the security and now I'm gonna complain about it I don't think there's any managers well uh, somebody already checked in the office and said somebody's coming I'll just report it to the man to Walmart headquarters that's fine by me okay. I ain't got no problem you with that well, yeah I know Hell no, I don't oh. I don't have interactions with people when I'm doing a complaint without okay. documented evidence. Okay. Well, it's one eight hundred. I'll do it online, but thank you, ma'am. Oh, I just thought I might could handle it in-house, but if they don't want to, I'll go over his head or who's her head or whoever's and take care of it that way. Good. Oh, can I get the manager's name? Yeah, Billy Bob. Billy what? Bob. Can you spell that for me? Can't spell Billy? Billy, you know, I know. Why you shop at Walmart, man? Fucking asshole, motherfucker. I foresee anger management classes in your future should you continue on this path. And of course, I mean sentenced to you by a judge as part of your probation terms. I know how to spell Billy. I'm not fucking stupid. I didn't understand what he said. You're going to be a YouTube star, you dumbass. I already am, man. They know me around here. Okay, sure. All right, sure, man. No problem. I, yeah, it's okay. I don't mind cussing. Oh, I'll come back. Hey, you know what I... Hey, all we hear out of your mouth is this, fuckhead. Smooth move, moron. It looks like that security guard could squash you like a bug, and yet you take a swing on him. But as the old saying goes, you reap what you sow, and you're about to get some karma. You're on a million cameras. Don't be that dumb, man. You got hit the officer again. You got hit the officer again. The guy's pushing him. I told him to leave. Yes, sir, you did. Yeah, you do. You're sitting in here cussing, He's and you just put your hands on me. And you put your hands on me first, you dumb nope. fuck. Yeah, to leave. Hey, bro, you tripping, huh? It's not tripping. Yeah, hey, hey, tripping, hey, homie, man, 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 bro, you tripping, homie. Lucky, Come on, bro. I'm, lucky, I'm with yeah, you, shit, lucky. homie. I'm not fucking lucky. Yeah, yeah go. me too. Shit. Hey, get your ass up out of here, fam. Shut the fuck up. Get out of here. Man, what's up, bro? I'm with the shit, homie. What the fuck Lee. you wanna do, dog? Fuck off, me! Fuck off, me! Lee! Motherfucker! Oh, shit! Oh, look what just happened in a fight, sir! I'm sorry! 
Be careful of who you bring along, because sometimes it may not be worth it, as that little guy just found out.